Hello YouTube and welcome back to Minecraft Extreme Builds. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Last time out we started moving from this design, which was our plan, our template, to a more realistic one, which is our actual build. So we finally, it took three episodes, but we started getting into our actual build. We got these walls up, we did this was supposed to be just a demonstration, but it was going so well, I decided to go ahead and start filling it in and actually using it as a base. So we got these walls in, we got these corners nicely done. Everything looked really nice. It did look very realistic, or it does, I think, in my opinion, at least for Minecraft standards. And then we got, uh, we got these blue bricks in, which were our engineering bricks. They are a little bit, maybe a little bit too bright, but um, that's okay, we can always change that at a later date. In this video, you can see that the white quartz has disappeared and turned into these bricks. So what am I going to be doing in this video? Well, in this video, I'm going to be doing the trims at the bottom and then the white fascia because it is not actually white concrete or anything at the bottom. It is a fascia, it is bricks. I had a look at a number of photos and I looked around and some buildings have it and some do not. So I have an idea in mind and that is what I'm going to be running through in this video and trying to put some of that into action. So make sure you stay tuned because this build is going to really expand quite significantly in this single video. So you can see that I've actually got rid of the things that I was building. Why did I do that? I got rid of the blocks, the bricks that I was building. They have gone. Thankfully, I of course have in here. I do of course have the different recipes. I've just got to make sure I do not left click on this because that will destroy it. So I do have the different recipes and I can use this over and over as much as I want. We do not need that today. What I am going to be doing though is I'm going to be using this and showing you something because what I have noticed, that's backwards, that's what I have noticed. What I have noticed is that these buildings, these blocks of four are not flat all the way through. And I was I was looking at this in the a couple of episodes ago, and I was looking at that and thinking, I have a feeling there's more to that detail. Something seems to be missing. So I went back, had a look around London, tried to see the different things uh, on maps. Of course, we we were in lockdown at the time, so didn't travel to London to have a look around, uh, but or didn't travel to the those areas of London. But I did see that these things were supposed to be indented now. Realistically, it's probably supposed to only be that much in, but for the for the sake of Minecraft, I'm actually going to take this in, no, one entire meter. That's the plan. So this is going to go in all the way like that. Now you'll see that there's a tiny little gap. In fact, yeah, there's a tiny little gap. You might be able to see out. There isn't a tiny little, yes, there is. There's a tiny little gap. You can just about see the light creeping through. So there is something that we are going to have to do about that. But this is going to be another block of six. So let's go ahead and get this block of six done. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I know I said that, oh, I could just uh, copy and paste the entire house. I have been thinking about that, but I think it's going to be much better for me to copy and paste bits of the house as opposed to the entire house. Uh, because I think it's going to make it a lot easier to to manage. Now, of course, what we do have here is a wall that's fairly thick on this side and a wall that's fairly thin on this side. But that is OK. And the reason that's OK is because I'm taking that as the houses are ever so slightly wider. And the reason they're ever so slightly wider is because they have uh, they, they're slightly smaller. They're slightly smaller, so they're ever so slightly wider. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up just two and I'm going to completely cover this in concrete. So I'm just going to put uh, 
little bits of concrete in that. That's one block of six. Now let's do the next block of six. Uh, right, one, two, three, four, five, six. That way I know exactly how big this entire setup is going to be. I'm not doing the entire house and you can see that I am making these a lot shorter. I might even keep them shorter. I mean, I am messing around with this quite a bit. So you never know what could, uh, what may or may not work. But I'm just trying some things out to see what I can and cannot do. There we go. The sun just sets far too quickly in this title. I've made this comment a number of times, but it is the case. And again, all, all I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking at replacing little bits and bobs of this as I go along. So for example, once I've got the door section done, I'll break out the door section for each one of these and then replace it. That, that is, that's the plan. I am going to leave the door there intentionally. And that's because that's where it does not get in the way of these corner blocks. And that just makes it a little bit easier. The windows I might move around, but the door I am going to keep right there. So that does waste about a meter on, on that side. Let's, let me just have a look at uh, some pictures and see how the doors are. Now the doors are quite like that because there's a quite a significant amount of space yeah the doors are like that what i have noticed is that there's engineering bricks in strange locations on these builds so that, that's something to consider build up a a little bit of this I'm not going to build up the entire thing just going to build up that much so that we have an idea as to what is what is what there we go okay and then i'll go ahead and uh do this And that's one there. There we go. Pop this in and then turn it back to day. There we go, back to day. Okay, so now, now that's essentially the design of the house and then we're looking at, uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. That is where the door's going to go. There we go. Again, the height of it is, is nothing to worry about. I'm actually considering bringing the height of these down and changing the roofs out completely. But given I, that the design I stuck with at the start is very Victorian, I, uh, I'm kind of tempted to just keep it as it is one two three four five six this is supposed to be a corner piece what is wrong with me there we go what oh dear that's oh it works it's okay okay i thought i messed that up somehow it i turned it around sideways or up yeah one way or another uh, I'm going to find it when Geshe gets in mind. Alright, so this is where we've, we're going to have the... So the front door of that particular house is going to be on... See, now we've got options. We can either have it on that side and that side... Or I can make it all the way across and have it on this side and this side and then have one there and there or in the middle there and there. There's, there is a lot in the way of uh, a lot in the way of options here. 
And th there are various different ways we could do this. And I'm just thinking what could look better. What could look better on this? Could I have the door there and then have a window there? I mean, I know it's going to be higher up, but I think that looks better. I think that look that does look better. That's what I'm going to do. So let's get the let's get this in the right place. There, that, I think that's the right level. That does look better. Right. I didn't think that's wood, but uh, it does. I'm going to have to paint the bricks in a different location, but that's okay. There we go. Looking good. And then over here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the end of it. So we'll do that. And then we'll do one, two, that. Okay. Oh, again, at the top up there. Not down there. That's that's good. That's fairly good. And then I can do that and that. That's not bad. This is starting to look very familiar, like other builds. In fact, I say it starts to look very familiar. Of course, it's looking familiar. It's it's what's it's Britain, and uh, this is this is what we have. Let's go ahead and take out all the lights here yeah, sure uh, let's go ahead and knock all of this ground out so that we have our front doors uh, front doors well yeah so that we have this that's what I'm talking about I'm not going to take it out all the way I'm just going to take out a little bit of the way like that so that, uh, that's fine. So it's possible for us to actually open this up properly. There we go, that's opened up. Let me just break all of this. Okay, fine. Well, if it knocks out a couple more on that side, it doesn't really matter. They're all going anyway. But for now, we do not need to do that. All I do need to do is click away. My clicking skills have massively reduced. Okay, so now what I need to do is pop these in. All the way along. I say all the way along, it's not really all the way along because these ones are going to be at this level. There we go. Oops, no. Go away. You're probably wondering, well, hang on a minute, why am I doing this right now and not anything else? And it's going to become apparent momentarily. I do literally mean momentarily. No. Let's get that corner in. And you're in. That's looking good. Okay. Pop in the paintwork for the bricks. Cross there so that. And the paintwork for the bricks is actually quite useful for other things as well. It's actually going to be very useful. Because that is actually marking the bottom of the bottom of the floor, the bottom of the ground floor. There we go. And I guess I might as well just mark the bricks all the way around here. Up to that point there. Great. Okay, so now we have the the bricks marks out. That's the engineering bricks all the way uh, along this building. Right. 
Now that we've got all of that in, what I want to do is I want to actually, since this is our block of four, I, I need to put these tops in, don't I? It's just, it just looks out of place. But since, I might as well now talk, since we've got our block of four, what I want to do now is I want to start adding in the the sort of fascia, the white fascia that gives it a distinctive look. However, I only want to add that white fascia on the middle part so that the outer ones are still going to... Okay, there's two options here. I can either do it to the middle part or the outer ones. And that is why I have done this because I need to decide which one I I want it on. Uh, let's go here. Nope. Is that correct? It looks it. You can see the gap now. That gap is now quite obvious. We'll, we'll fix the gap. Gap will certainly be fixed. There we go. You can see the gap. They're very, very obvious. Okay, so what we've got is something that requires a lot more light. It's a bit better. A little bit. Light it from the ground. Does that help? Not much. I'll tell you what does help. That. Okay. So, this bottom part here, we can either mix between fascias or just standard uh, basic basic stuff. So, or oh, base, basic brick. What I am thinking is I would like to start with a little lip along all the way along just underneath that blue brick and it's all going to be made of white concrete and that lip I want to make I'm thinking I want to make that perhaps just one block wide that's all I want to do so that is what I'm going to start with and this is where it's going to get interesting because what I need to do is I need to actually build it from inside. Probably need to build it from the inside and all the way. So I start there and I will bring it out. And this is in fact, no, this needs to, I want to make this two blocks wide. That's what I want to do. And I've also got to work on the thickness of that. So I'm actually going to plan this up. Right. Um, move that there. I no longer need that one. I need to be closer for this. go things like this it's a one-off so that's why I'm going to make it like this when one when, when we get to do the sort of the windows and stuff I'll, I'll probably end up breaking some of this down but this is how we're going to do it so we'll start literally at the bottom of this brick that is where I want to start right here like that and I want it to come out two, and I want it to be down there, like so. I need to bring it all the way along, and I want it to, right. That is how I want that. 
How does that look? Mm, I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Maybe, maybe need that bigger than a brick though. So I should do that two bricks? One and a half bricks? Let's try adding another brick onto that. And nope. I'm leaving the edge out intentionally. Let's try this. Oh, what happened there? There we go. That's better. That's that's a lot better. Okay, so that's what's that is what I'm going to have going around everywhere. And it's going to be two blocks out, two blocks out, and then hey, does that not match? No, that that's fine. I oh, didn't say all the way. It goes from. Halfway across the brick. Like that. We'll add a little bit of detail to this shortly, but I need to make sure that I'm getting this correct. And it doesn't matter if it's not covering it perfectly. As long as it is covering it. So... Again, we are we're looking to be one, two blocks out. And we're going all the way. And it is that far down, I think. That is, that looks correct. Okay, that's that's good. That's a, that's a start. Now what I need to do is I'm going to have to figure out how actually I've got a better idea. I've got a better idea than that. I probably should not have this section. That section probably does not need to exist. Maybe have this come out like that there we go this section does not need to exist so I'll do uh, now I'll just do it from there two blocks and I'll go is that two blocks that is two blocks down from there all the way across up to the top of this brick Is that looking correct? I think so. That certainly looks right. There we go. That's that is probably better. I need to leave that bit, leave that bit. Then this bit down here is all going to be in that sort of white colour. But for now, I'm going to create a little platform like this fill it up and then that's just one block out so I will do another block and then over here I will start from inside there and then go all the way out to there and I'll probably do the same thing here where you just create come on just create one one line just sticking out there just to give it a little bit of extra depth ah no that's incorrect I do not like what's happened there so I'm going to use the hammer to knock this entire line back that is better 
I have a feeling this one hasn't gone all the way in. It hasn't. How do I now fix that? That's why I'm doing this. I just do that and grab it and bring it all the way in and... There. That's better. No, 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 that's, that's wrong. Okay, great. And then I guess I just need to break this bit. Okay. Progress. Some progress, anyway. Not a lot, but some progress. And now what I need to do is I'm going to cover this entire section with one single layer. And that is all it's going to be. So that's two, just the one. That's it, that's, that is what I'm looking for. Of course, we've got the, the windows and stuff that we're going to add in, but that is actually very much what I'm looking for. What I want to do also is just for the sake of it, so we can have a bit of an idea as to what's going on. There we go. That is looking a lot better. Okay, so it's taken it's taken a while to get that done, but it's happened. And also, I've now realised that in doing so, I've forgotten to break that, meaning that the bottom of this is not complete. Well done, me. Oh, what was it? It was in from here. Just select from there. Oh, almost crashed. Got to be careful of crashes. It does, does occasionally do that. There we go. That's it. Some additional light here, please. There you go. Okay, so now we've got the fascia down the front and then we've got the little bits and bobs um these little sticky outy bits coving i suppose we can call it coving it sounds like a, a reasonable name for it but uh we'll, we'll see uh right let's get rid of this Let's have a look. There's not enough in the way of shadow there. Just just looking at that and trying to determine the shadows. Maybe I could make that just a little bit thicker. We'll see. We will see if that needs to be if that needs to be any thicker. But what we have here is a really good design. I think this is a really good design. It doesn't look great at the moment, but this should pan out to be a really good design. What we need to do is we need to bring in the whole idea of the windows. Okay. Well, great. There's that hammer. That looks awesome, though. Break it all, please. Thank you. And then from there, just break everything. Now it looks better. That is awesome. That's actually awesome. Now, now that I've seen that, I think I may have just realized a way for me to make patterns. Negative patterns. Cool. Let's break that there to there all gone thank you very much 
Okay, so now now we're seeing this looking a little bit better, a little bit more like it. But we've still got a long way to go. It's still a very, very long way to go. So what is next on this? Uh, let's think. Uh, next up, I think we need to look at... Do we look at the windows or the doors? That's that's the next part. So of course, this is still the front of the house. Uh, right. Let's see. Hmm. Just just looking at looking at this. I'm also bit a little bit distracted when I'm recording this is the PS5 announcement so I'm taking uh, I'm, I'm a little bit distracted to see um, what is going on which is probably I shouldn't have been recording but right let's see so we've got the doors to work out, we've got the windows to work out. Let me have a look on on uh, Google Earth once again and find a, the design for the windows that I want to use. What design do I want? I think I know the design and I've just got to work out how I'm going to pull this off. Now, the door... So if the door's going to be that wide, which is one meter, I mean a door, standard door width is 92 centimeters, 92 and a half centimeters. So one meter, I can, I can live with that. And having it two meters high, standard height for a door, I think is 1830. No, that doesn't seem right. 1830. No, I think it's almost two meters, one nine something. So, that's absolutely fine for me as well. I said two meter door, not a problem. In Minecraft, you need two meter doors to get through it. Anyway, uh, what I'm thinking of though is the window. So we've got that window like, oh, that window's in the wrong location, isn't it? I'd like to put sort of a, a longer window, but a, a smaller window. That's what I would like. And there's two options I've got. So I've either got recessed windows or I've got windows with a nice paneling. And I think the windows with the nice paneling is the one that I'm after. So that is what I'm going to look to build. So let's go ahead and figure out how we are going to build that and what we want. So to do that, I'm going to use my, I'm going to build a section right here where my window is going to be. We even built some steps. So we'll have that and then that. Now, I do not want a window that small. I want the window to be up there. I want a nice rectangular window. This is too small for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that and then I'm going to, this is where it gets, this is where it's going to get difficult because I'm just looking at the way those windows are set up and the distance and how, how I could build this. Although it could, it could just be the top one, in which case it should be absolutely fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run over here, right click, grab this recipe, Keep it as none, sure, safe. Craft that, so now I have a different version of this block. Stick that in there, and now I can break this block back, which is the point. So I'm going to break the block back to there. That's the window I want. That's the window shape right there. So that is what those windows are going to become. So I need this little top section to be included in, in that bit there. And that is actually going to be the size of all the windows. So even the, even the other windows are going to have 
this sort of size. The only thing is the, dif the difference is that I think, I think the windows that we have could be, I don't know. I'm thinking I could move the windows one along. In fact, what am I doing? Why don't I just show you? So we've got, right. We've got this section here. Please tell me you're going to fit. No. Right, so we've got this section here. Now, if I make that tall like that, then what I need to do is I'm thinking of doing that. No, actually, that's a bad idea. I'll do that and have another tall window here and another tall window there. That could potentially work. That's that's a potential solution. I feel like that would match the Victorian style, but I think the windows are probably wider. But I don't think they're too I don't think they're too much wider. So for example, I'm not sure that they are that wide. But then I think once we do the top bits, it's going to look it's not going to look as wide. Okay, well, well, we'll see what happens. Okay. We're going to be using the white concrete powder again. Now for this, it's going to be interesting because again, we've got the issue with the little frame all the way around. Give me daytime. Uh, we've got the issue with the little frame all, all the way around that I need to, I need to obviously worry about and figure out how I'm going to do or how I'm going to do that and how I'm going to work with it. The options I have available to me is obviously I'm going to have a frame, single frame all the way on the inside. I could then build that outwards and then build a massive frame around the outside, which is kind of what I intend to do. So I want to build a frame like this on the, yep, this is what I want to do. Like that. Probably a bad idea to do it from there, but there we go, like that. And like that. So that's the edge of the window frame. And then what I really would like to do is I would like to bring it out there and then up to, I'd like to do that to it. This is where it's going to get difficult as you can see, or as you can imagine, because it's not exactly the easiest thing To push forward, but it, it's getting there slowly. Probably going to need something a lot closer than this. There we go. Uh, that's too close. There we go. See, now I could, for example, take this and go. No, not hammer, uh, chisel. Does that not work? It's because I'm holding the shift, of course. There we go. There, good. Then I probably want to knock out the grass blocks and do the same. Down here, why are you that color? Shadow, right? Shadow, okay. Let's try and get the same. Can I, can I get that same thing going here? Not particularly, actually, no, I can. There you go. So that's part of a frame. That is part of a frame. That's probably not the entire size of the frame that I'm after, because I think there's more to, more to this frame. 
but it gives me gives me something to work with. Now what I need to do is I'm thinking of bringing this frame out. Let's think. Uh, one, two. I'm going to bring out three blocks like that. Same thing here. Probably should have done it from the bottom, but one, two, three. We could probably go all the way up here as well. So it's going to be one, two, three, three blocks. Same case there. And then at the bottom, the exact same thing. One, two, is it? One, two, th three. Hey, okay. no. There we go, one, two, three. Okay. Doesn't look great. No, it does not. That's fine, though, because what we are now going to do. I'll fill that up. What we are now going to do is... Oh, actually, I do not want to fill that up. That's good. That's really good. I like that. I can just break that there, because that is what I'm after. It's the kind of style I'm, I'm trying to do. So we'll go ahead and use the hammer and try and knock all of this back just a little bit. There we go. Okay, good. And then out here, I need to one block all the way around. This may be a little bit too much. I'll be honest, this might be a bit much, but Maybe I should have kept it one block further in, but that's okay, because this is going to go another block out. Now I'm a little bit unsure of this. Actually, two, two, doing that two wide is probably better than one wide. So I'm going to do that. Whoops. No, wait. Top to there. Bring those two down and then do there to there. Okay, and then we're just going to do a single one. In like that. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Should have a, there we go, we do have a, a single gap. There. That goes up to there. That goes across to there, and that comes down to there, and that goes back across to there. There's our window. That is a Victorian window. Not, it's not terrible. That is not terrible at all. And then, of course, we need the actual window inside, but we're going to work on that. This is just the the window frame. Uh, let's have a look. Do you know what? I can... I think I can live with that. It's a decent enough design, I think. Now, the only problem is is actually fitting this into one of those. That is the only problem I have now. So I'm not sure how I'm, how I'm going to do this. So I could always just go ahead and... Uh, this is part of a block, so I could always do that side, and then that side... Yeah, so we have that side, that side, and then the middle. 
Would that would that work? Would that work? So I was to just grab a single section. So bring it out a, a few blocks, click there, do that across, and then say, right, let's go ahead and stick that into there, and then oh, uh, it could work. It could work. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe that's something to to check for the next episode. But that is going to be the window design for all the windows. That's fairly nice. And then, of course, what we can do is we can actually make an actual window, and then you know we could do that and that, and you know. Hey, look! It's an it's an actual window. Wow, that was surprisingly that was surprisingly easy to do. But you know, it's it's progress. That is that is progress. And as a matter of fact, because of that progress, I am going to take a screenshot like this because that's going to give us an idea as to what what is actually going on as i end this video thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on minecraft extreme builds leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think don't forget to support me on patreon if you can do so www.patreon.com slash ec gadget your support would be massively massively appreciated it would really really help me out also you can find me on social media at ec gadget lp for both twitter and instagram that's all for me, and I'm going to try and figure out how to pop these windows into that building. And in the next episode, hopefully I'll know I'll have a way, and we'll go ahead and do that. That building will actually start taking shape. So I'll see you guys then.